In this video, we will solve a right triangle given a leg and the opposite angle. We will find angle B, side B, and the hypotenuse C. To the left, we have all the formulas we need to solve a right triangle. In the previous videos, we went over these formulas and we will review them here one more time. All these formulas refer to this right triangle with the sides A, B, and C and the angles A, B, and C. Angle A is opposite of side A, angle B is opposite of side B, and the hypotenuse C is opposite of the right angle C. Below we have the trigonometric functions sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A, and sine, cosine, and tangent of angle B. If we work with angle A, then sine of angle A is the opposite side A divided by hypotenuse C, cosine of angle A is the adjacent side B divided by hypotenuse C, and tangent of angle A is the opposite side A divided by the adjacent side B. If working with angle B, then sine of angle B is the opposite side B divided by hypotenuse C, cosine of angle B is the adjacent side A divided by hypotenuse C, and tangent of angle B is the opposite side B divided by the adjacent side A. Below we have the Pythagorean theorem, and if we have a right triangle with the two legs A and B and the hypotenuse C, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If we know two of the sides in a right triangle, then we can use these formulas to find the missing side. C equals square root of A squared plus B squared, A equals square root of C squared minus B squared, and B equals square root of C squared minus A squared. Notice that when we find hypotenuse, inside the square root we add the squares of the shorter sides. But when we find one of the shorter sides, then inside of the square root, we start with the hypotenuse squared, and then we subtract the other shorter side squared. Now, the last two formulas are angle A equals 90 degrees minus angle B, and angle B equals 90 degrees minus angle A. We know that in any triangle, the sum of all three angles measures 180 degrees, and in a right triangle, one of the angles is 90 degrees, therefore the sum of these two angles is also 90 degrees. So if we know angle B, we can find angle A by subtracting angle B from 90 degrees. And if we know angle A, we can find angle B by subtracting angle A from 90 degrees. Now in our problem, we have to find angle B, side B, and side C. Because we are given angle A, we can find angle B by using this formula, B equals 90 degrees minus angle A. We will write down the formula, B equals 90 degrees minus angle A, and now let's replace, B equals 90 degrees minus 29 degrees. Then angle B equals 61 degrees degrees. Next, we will find either side B or side C. If we want to find the hypotenuse C and we are given side A and angle A, then we can use sine of angle A equals A divided by C. So the formula is sine of angle A equals A over C. And now we will replace angle A with 29 degrees, and side A with 8.4. Now we have to solve this equation for C, and we will start by multiplying both sides by C. We do this to eliminate the denominator. Then on the right side C and C will cancel, and we will have C times sine of 29 degrees equals 8.4. From here, we will divide both sides by sine of 29 degrees. 
and on the left side sine of 29 degrees will cancel. Then we will use a calculator to divide 8.4 by sine of 29 degrees and we will get that C is approximately 17.3 units. Now what we have left is to find side B. Once we found angle B and the hypotenuse C, we can use any of the trigonometric functions that contain side B. Or instead, we can go with the Pythagorean theorem and use the formula B equals square root of C squared minus A squared. Let's go with this formula because it's a formula that is easy to use. Here we will replace C with 17.3. So we will have 17.3 squared and A with 8.4. Then we will use a calculator and we will get that B is approximately 15.1 units. Now we have angle B, side C and side B and the triangle is solved. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.